This video was made for the 2014 ICTCM. I spent so much time making it, I thought I would also release it to my regular viewers. Yep, it's me, that guy with all the edutaining math videos. I, unlike a lot of YouTubers, am an actual teacher, a professor at the University of Laverne. I'm also a course designer and a program redesigner. This isn't my normal shtick. This is my program. So, enjoy. This is the evolution of the Laverne Project. The year was 2009. Public education in California had collapsed. In 2010, I was acquired by the University of Laverne to remedy their high quality problem of rapidly increasing enrollment. They had no idea what would happen. Fall 2011. Course management system My Math Lab was added to intermediate algebra and offered to all the part time instructors. Some of them got aboard. Currently, two thirds of our classrooms are taught with these course management systems. Instructors were trained in the use of My Math Lab using My Math Lab in a three hour online course I created. My Math Lab was added to college algebra in spring. 2012. With the success of My Math Lab in fall, more part time math instructors got aboard. Spring 2012 is also where I piloted the flipped classrooms. In fall 2012, 8 Could Save You 4 was added to the Laverne Project. 8 Could Save You 4 is an online review course to study for our placement exam. The idea is 8 hours of study could save you four months of class by getting placed in the right course. Fall 2012. Enrollment is booming and we are attacking the developmental courses from the air and the ground. Flipped hybrid intermediate algebra classes were added there one day a week giving me the opportunity to run two classes in the same time slot combating the space problem. Spring 2013. Welcome to the struggle bus. Flipped hybrid college algebra classes were added. College algebra is at least twice as hard as intermediate algebra. We struggled with this model because the Emporium experienced construction delays, leaving us with one day a week hybrids in a class that was, in my opinion, much too hard for that model. I believe it impacted student success. Speaking of success, fall 2013, the Emporium is finally here, and the flipped hybrids with Emporium are uh, amazing. So, you want to see how the sausage is made? The online course design. Level 1. So what is just-in-time homework? Well, here we are in the My Math Lab homework section. We see we can't click on questions until we access the media. And when we access the media, boom. That was a video on completing the square. Now we see that we can go to the questions. Bam! Immediately followed by a question on completing the square. That's what just-in-time homework is. Level 2. The practice quiz. The practice quiz is over the previous week's material. It's pooled. There's 14 questions on this one. That's 2 to the 14th different practice quiz. It's going to be different every time the student takes the practice quiz. The practice quiz is a prerequisite for the quiz quiz. They have to get 60% on the practice quiz in order to take the quiz. Level 3. The quiz comes from the practice quiz. The practice quiz comes from the homework. The quiz generates a homework. Anything missed on the quiz will be on that generated homework. Level 4. 
pooled practice test. This one has 25 questions. Each one of them has a choice of three. That's three to the 25th different practice test. Every time a student takes a practice test, they get a different practice test. This helps students study, especially my traditional age student, 18 to 20 freshmen who don't know how to study for tests. Taking the practice test takes the guess out of that studying process. The practice test generates the test. The practice test comes from the quizzes. The quizzes come from the practice quizzes. The practice quizzes come from the homework. Level 5 test. Where did the test come from? They come from the practice test. Where did the practice test come from? They come from the quizzes. Where did the quizzes come from? They come from the practice quizzes. Where did the practice quizzes come from? That dynamic, just-in-time homework. So by the time they get to the test, they've seen this material mm -mm, quite a few times, which makes it easy to grade. Just saying. Level 6 pooled practice final. The practice final generates the final. This one has 50 questions. Each one of them has a choice of three. That's three to the 50 possible finals. The practice final comes from the test. The tests come from the practice test. The practice tests come from the quizzes. The quizzes come from the practice quizzes. The practice quizzes come from the homework. We're seven levels deep. Finally, we've arrived at the final. The final is targeted toward the course SLOs. Where does the final come from? The final comes from the practice final. Practice final comes from the test. Test come from the practice test. Practice test come from the quizzes. Quizzes come from the practice quizzes. Practice quizzes come from the homework. I plan it deep, like inception. And here's the kicker, the final comes from the practice final. The practice final comes from the test. The test. They come from the practice test. The practice test. They come from the quiz. The quiz. They come from the practice quiz. The practice quiz comes from the just-in-time online homework. And that's the online course design. So that's the air game. Let's see how the ground game works. The in-class part. Let's take a look at the in-class course design. Let's dive into a typical week. In a typical week, the homework comes available two weeks before it's due. During the week, they do homework on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The following Monday, they take the quiz on the previous week's homework. Anything they miss on the quiz and the practice quiz is generated on Friday's homework. Typically, during the week, when we meet, it's group work to reinforce the concepts of the previous week and provide a deeper understanding of the material. Once a month, we have a test. That test is over the previous month's homework. Let's take a look at the syllabus. There's two grading scales. When we dive into the syllabus, those are the learning outcomes. But this is the important part. There's two grading scales, one for with lab and one for without lab. The with lab grading scale borrows a percentage from each one of the majors and gives it to lab so that there's a 6% cushion for coming to lab. Students can opt into lab or they, if their grade gets low enough, they are placed into lab and they are required to do an hour a week in the lab with us. Now that we've looked at the grading scales, let's go into the Emporium. Let me invite you into my classroom. This is a panoramic view of my classroom. My classroom is also my lab. Those desks have flip up computers so that it can become the Emporium when it's not being used as a classroom. This is the Emporium. We go inside. That's an actual Emporium session where students are doing work and tutors and me are walking around the classroom to answer any questions they may have about math. So that's the classroom and the Emporium. And that's the in-class course design. Well, that seems effective. Let's look at the white paper. Except it's not actually a paper. Let's look at the white video. So you want results? Let me trot out the results of the Laverne project. First, let's look at the overall health of our general education math track, intermediate algebra and college algebra since 2007. Here is where we started implementing course management systems, and that's where we really started to bend the bar. 
Now I want to separate out fall semester from spring semester to take out some of that noise. This is a graph of the pass rates for fall semester since 2007. Again, that's where we implemented the course management system and started the Laverne project. Now we're seeing the progress of spring semester. It's a little trickier because it's mostly college algebra, and college algebra is way more difficult than intermediate algebra, and we're seeing that in the numbers, but we are seeing the smoothing, curving effects when the Laverne project is taking effect. A natural question is, is my math lab making a difference? At Laverne, we don't have common finals, but we do have instructors who have taught the same course year over year for the last seven years. Let's take a look at their results. Our first instructor only teaches college algebra, 24 without my math lab and 10 with. When we look at his numbers, they're not much different, but we'll just say this instructor is consistent. I'm not going to go as far as to say that that's a failure. We didn't make it worse. Let's take a look at our next instructor. This instructor only teaches intermediate algebra. 13 without my math lab and 10 with my math lab. We see a 10% difference. I wonder if it's significant to the program. So I tested the means the means of the 68 courses that we have using my math lab versus the population of the 195 courses that we've taught since 2007. And our p-value was 0 0.0239. And this is how it feels. Oh, it feels good to reject the null. Looks like there is a difference in means. All right, so we've done program level. We've done other instructors. Now let's take a look at my results. These are my pass rates since 2010. That's when I joined Laverne. We started the course management systems in fall 11. I started flipping in spring 12. And then I can explain that spring 13. That's room pirates and construction delays on the Emporium. Fall 13 is when the Emporium started. If we separate the intermediate algebra from the college algebra, we get a clearer picture. From fall 2010, this is how intermediate algebra has played out. Now my college algebra is different. Spring, course management system, awesome. Spring 12 started flipping right on. Everything was going right on. And then we decided to flip with one day a week, but it was supposed to have an emporium. And then construction delays and room theft caused us to have a one day a week hybrid. And I think it affected the pass rates in my opinion. Still better than just the course management system, though. Flipped. Before we talk about flipped, we need a definition. Most people would say that the information is delivered outside of the classroom, and homework is done inside of the classroom. But Laverne flipped is different. With Laverne Flip, the information is delivered in a just-in-time fashion while the student is doing homework online outside of class. Class time is group work time, and it's used to reinforce what is learned online. The Emporium is then open to serve students who want or are required to seek extra help. Let's play a game. We'll call it Guess Which Two Classes Are Flipped. This is the pilot. The pilot for flipping classes, the trial, just to see if it worked. I don't know, do you think it worked? So I compared the pass rates of the 19 flipped courses I have versus the 29 total courses I have, and these are the results. Yes! It feels good to show that there's a difference in means. And then I looked at the flipped hybrids with the Emporium, and although the sample size was small, five courses, the results were large, and yes, it feels good to show there's a difference in means. So, you don't want to spend the thousand hours it takes to put together one of these? Hit me up, I'm easy to find. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all on the handle Math by Fives. I'll give you the code to copy so that you can try one of my courses for a semester to see if you want to put in the time. Maybe you want to train your instructors. I'll give you access to the online training program. Perhaps you want to 
make sure your students get placed in the right place, I'll hook you up with the My Math test that I use to um, make sure that my freshmen are getting placed in the right course, the review course. But of course, if you're looking for a consultant for your program, I'll do that too. Anyway, you can find me and enjoy.